Yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Keep It Techie, where I help you stay on top of your Linux game and get deeper into the tech world. And today I got something special. This is the 45 Labs HL8 NAS from 45 Drives. And trust me, this isn't your average home NAS. This thing is enterprise grade, but still accessible for us home labbers, creators, and even small businesses looking for serious storage solutions. Now, before we crack this thing open, I gotta give a shout out to CIQ for making this possible. They're big supporters of the Rocky Linux ecosystem, and they hooked me up with this actual system, as well as some drives to go along with it to take this thing to the next level. So we're gonna check out the build quality, specs, and first impressions of this beast, and how it stacks up to other NAS options out there. So let's get to it. All right, so let's get this thing open. And first thing I gotta say, cause I've already opened it, but it's packed really well, which is what you wanna see when dropping a good amount of money on a pre-built NAS. So we got some paperwork here. Let's pull some of this out the sides and just pull all this stuff out. And actually let me set the box to the side so you guys can see a little better. But first thing, like I said, we got some paperwork. Let's see what we got here. As well as our box contents, packing slip and all that stuff. But just one thing I wanted to show you guys, but it says congratulations on becoming an owner of an HL8. And it also has some links and all that stuff, but it says you've joined a community of people with big, strong, fast storage hardware in their home lab. And it says to discuss and collaborate about all things 45 home lab, open source hardware configuration, software, and plugins. Head over to the community hub at forum.45homelabs. Com. So I'll check that out, you know what I'm saying, in the next video. When I do the configuration and setting up, I'll show you guys that form. But nah, this is some good information right here. And also one cool thing about it, it tells you who actually built and tested, at least the initials, who built and tested. Shout out to you at SW. We're going to check it out and see if it works. But it's going through a couple of things that's in the box right fast while I pull it all the way out. A Wi-Fi antenna. So that's cool to see. We got that. Let's see, we got power supply. Or not power supply, but the power cable. We got that. Yeah, standard. It's awesome to see. And looks like we got some documentation in here. Ah, and it's cool. I heard they do this. They send out the documentation that goes with the different ports that they use to build this actual system. Like for instance, flex. That sounds like a power supply. Let's see. Yep, power supply. That's the power supply. So this is the documentation for that. You think a lot of places don't include that paperwork that comes with the actual ports that they use to put into it? You know what I'm saying? But you have the actual manuals and stuff like that. So this is the gigabit motherboard documentation as well. And just a little bit more about, yeah, documentation about the motherboard, which that's cool to see. And then a bracket, some screws. We got to figure out where that goes or what that's for. And then we got some SATA cables. So we got two of those. So that's good to go. That's a good start. I got a bunch of SATA cables around here. I can hook up the other port of what was sent, which is these drives and let me not open that up let's get to the nas all right, all right so now to the main event this is the hl8 nas chassis and it was wrapped in some foam up in here so it didn't move around during shipping so it stayed pretty stable in there but this thing is heavy man 22 pounds so that means that it's built solid and i've already looked at it so it's not really a surprise for me but check out this front panel this is super awesome bro I don't know if you guys can see that, but the colors that they use, I don't know if they requested this or if these guys knew I, I did YouTube or whatever, but I really love the color design on this one. You know what I'm saying? It's got the blue with the black and the slits in it. That's one cool thing about it, bro. All their chassis look like they're all machined. And so you can see all these cut designs. And then also up here on the top, you'll see the HL8 right there. That is super dope and it's clean. It almost feels like a concrete material in here. So yeah, that's dope. Now, let's check out the back of it as well. Let me spin it around so you guys can see part of it. Now, I'll do some more zoom ins on it, but that's the back of it. Looks pretty cool. And so I'm super excited to get this thing set up. And I don't know if I said this or not, but I have eight hot swappable drive bays running off a direct wired 45 drive SATA backlink. So there is no fancy RAID cores. This is just pure Linux storage freedom. Now, let me hop over here and show you guys the other part of it, which is the hard drives. Now, I'm super excited about these as well because I really need the storage space. 
I was running out of space on my Synology drive. And so I'm super glad I was able to get hooked up with some 20 terabyte drives from Seagate. And so I got four of those guys that should give me a good amount of space to last me for a while. And then plus, like I said, this thing has eight bays. So of course I can add four more drives at a later date. So this will get me started. It'll, it'll at least be more than what I have now because you guys know I produce a lot of content. That stuff takes up a lot of space and you never want to lose your content because you don't know if you'll ever re need to reuse it for anything else. So I, I always try to make sure that I keep all my video content. All right, so let's pop this thing open and talk about what makes this NAS so powerful. Now, first up, we got the motherboard. It's a Gigabyte B550i Aris Pro, and this is a solid mini ITX motherboard, and it supports PCIe Express 4 and fast NVMe storage if you want to throw in a cache drive. Now, the CPU, I decided to go with the Ryzen 7 5700G, which is eight cores, 16 threads, and built-in Radeon graphics for hardware accelerated tasks. And for NAS, this is overkill in a good way. Now, for the memory, I got 64 gigs UDIM RAM. And so this thing is ready for ZFS, containers, VMs, you name it. Now, another thing I want to point out is the cooling. They have the Noctua NHL9A AM4 cooler plus three Noctua fans. And so this thing should be whisper quiet and high efficiency. Now, the power supply is a 500 watt Flex Guru 80 plus gold, and that's over 90% efficiency. So it's compact and form factor. Now, the backplane is direct wired 45 drive SATA, no proprietary hardware locking you into one ecosystem, which is the dopest part about this thing. This thing is straight overbuilt, and I love that. A lot of pre-built NAS systems cheap out on RAM, CPU, or airflow, but not this one. This is designed to last and also set up to be upgradable, which is dope. And if you guys didn't know, I've been using a Synology drive for a good amount of time and I've always wanted to upgrade it, but there's no way to actually get into the system and do that. Now, yeah, I can open it up and tinker with it, but I don't want to mess anything up. So that's why I never really opened it up and tried to do like some upgrades to it. All right, so the hardware is great, but what really sets the HL8 apart is the software. I mean, out of the box, this thing runs Rocky Linux with the Houston UI from 45 drives. And what's Houston UI? It's a clean web-based management interface for your NAS. It handles ZFS, better FS, software rate configurations, and it also supports Docker and Kubernetes workloads. And I mean, this thing is dope because Rocky Linux is the go-to for enterprise grade stability, but Houston makes it user-friendly. And again, you're not forced into some lockdown ecosystem like you are with Synology with their proprietary operating system that they do not share. And if you guys know me, you know I rock with Rocky Linux, no pun intended. And CIQ is backing it. So you get long-term support, security updates, and none of that vendor locked in nonsense. So who should be looking at the HL8 NAS? Well, let's break it down. First off, home lab enthusiasts and self-hosting fans. If you wanna take control over your storage and don't want to deal with cloud nonsense, this is for you. Now, the next type of person is someone like me, content creators and video editors. I mean, with eight drive bays and high speed IO and powerful hardware, this thing can handle 4K, 8K video workflows. Now, the other type of person would be a small business owner or IT admins. If you need a reliable Linux powered NAS for backups, virtualization or Docker workloads, this beats anything off of the shelf. And real talk, if you're tired of Synology's price hikes and QNAP security breaches, this is a rock solid alternative. All right, so that's my first look at the 45 Home Labs HL8 NAS. And my first impressions, this thing is built like a tank. It has top tier specs and runs Rocky Linux with Houston UI, making it a powerful open source NAS alternative. And a huge shout out again to CIQ for supporting this project. And if y'all don't know, they're the team behind Rocky Linux and they're doing big things in the Linux world. And just a quick update in the next video, I'm going to fully set this thing up and walk you guys through RAID, ZFS, setups, as well as Docker containers and performing testing. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. 
but let me know down in the comments what do you think about the hl8 would you pick this up over a synology and also what nas setup do you use all right y'all that's it for today go down and smash that like button subscribe for more linux and home labs content and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace Yo, what's up, y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you're coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's going to take effort. You'll have to grind. But think about this. The time is going to pass anyway. So why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills. It opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself. Store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career. It's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it. Because the future is yours to build. Keep it tech.